Though this is the first newly declared strain of HIV in 19 years, it's not actually a new strain. It was first discovered in someone in 1983 in the Democratic Republic of Congo and then in someone else in 1990, also in the DRC. But only now with the advance of genome sequencing techniques has a third sample isolated in 2001 also in the DRC, been definitively identified as the same variant of HIV as the other two samples. And according to the rules, once three independent samples of the same HIV variant are discovered, a new strain can be announced. Discovering this new strain of HIV is really just the first step. We've confirmed that it exists, and we've shared the sequence with the greater research community. And that will allow everyone to be able to evaluate how it might impact diagnostic testing, treatments, and potential vaccines. Researchers say this new strain is a variant of the most common form of HIV and is detectable, treatable, and also very rare. As sequencing technology advances, it's likely more new strains will be discovered. And this, researchers say, is not necessarily a cause for alarm, but will help them understand how the virus has developed over time. Such vigilance is also necessary, as there's always the fear that an HIV strain not detectable in a blood sample may develop, causing widespread infection in people and the world's blood supplies. The good news is this new strain um, can be detected by uh, the current tests. And the fear is that if there was a new strain um, uh, that wasn't detectable in the current tests, it could spread quite a bit before we knew it was a problem and could try to intervene, especially from a public health perspective. The goal for researchers has long been to find an HIV vaccine. And in recent years, there's been resurgent interest in finding a cure. As more strains are identified, it's hoped that more clues will be revealed as to the origins of the virus and how it evolved and what the variants have in common and how they differ. But it's that variety of HIV strains that also helps explain why a vaccine and a cure have been so elusive. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.